What is good YouTube? My name is Emil Ross and welcome back to the Marshall Consulting channel. In today's video we're having um, a really interesting topic. We're going to talk about how you're going to scale your dojo. And there's no other way to do it, at least from my perspective. If there are other ways, just tell them to me in, this co in the comments. Um, or there are probably other ways, but like this is probably the most um, useful way, the most productive way to do it. Let's, let's phrase it like this. Um, I, don't, I can't find any better words. For it, only, anyways, let's just get started. Um, it also this is just gonna be a, a bit more uh, than a rant. It's get, gonna be a bit more different than the other videos. But uh, to get started, we're going to talk about dojo owners who are just hating the word marketing, because let's say you're you're owning a dojo and you you're you're like starting out. You're at a couple grand per month and you want to scale. But you fucking hate the word marketing because you're doing martial arts now for years and you think martial arts is something different and that mar that marketing has nothing to do with martial arts and that marketing is going to destroy your dojo and just the word marketing is like it's, it's like your brain is straight like no 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 matter what let's say someone comes to you and, and says you like hey i will give you 20 students in for free i will give you 20 students for free you don't even have to pay when they're there you don't have to pay at all we're gonna use this, this, and this marketing thing. Bro, you're hearing the marketing and you're out. You're hearing like new students for my dojo, no, you're out. Even though this would scale your dojo. Bro, most dojo owners, they're like so much in their own head that they're just like, no, I don't want to, I don't want this, I don't want, I don't want to hear anything about this. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want this shit. Not from my dojo. This doesn't come into my academy. This doesn't come into my school. I don't want to know anything about that shit. I'll just use my outdated methods where I go to an outreach event once once a year or will have some flyers um, somewhere or whatever the fuck you're doing, man. Bro, we're living in 2023. What the fuck are you doing? It's like it's like not hard to scale your dojo, man. And maybe you're watching this right now and you're being like, well, Emil, okay, I am one of those guys. First of all, if you're already noticing that inside of your congratulations like this is um, a huge step forward because um, recognizing a problem is already uh, solving it by 50% and anyways um, bro to like just get back to the point to the point of the video it's like just use some fucking Facebook ads just I don't know whatever set up high level just send out some campaigns whatever bro it's like not it's like not even expensive. Like you can do all of all of the marketing under like um one K per month, including ad spend. I mean if you want to scale ads, etc. Yeah, yeah, you can maybe under two K per month, whatever. But like um for the beginning, bro, under one K per month for the entire marketing. Bro, you and it's not even hard to set up ads. Like most people are like, okay, I could do ads, yeah. Um okay, but I don't know how to do this. Bro, just click, go into the Facebook ads library, search for some ads that are currently already working. Search for ads which you might see like twice, like if you see an image twice or three times and it, it works, you're just gonna be like, okay, this might work. I might use something similar to this. Like don't copy obviously, but like it's that simple. And then for the copy and the ads, do the same. And if you see similar copy or you see similar patterns of copy, bro, just just use it. Like just make your own version out of it and just, just try it out. The worst thing that can happen is that you waste a couple of bucks on ads. Bro, at least you tried it, and then you're gonna learn something, and then you can try it again. It's not that hard, man. And the same with high level. Like, just watch some videos on it, spend some time on it, and the return on investment is gonna be like 10 times, probably. It's like a return on time, more or less. Because it's not even an investment, it's like not even that much money that you're um, putting inside of that, bro. It's, it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy how so many dojos have like this huge potential, but they just hate the word marketing. They just hate getting new students, they just hate other methods of student acquisition, they are just so brain AFK, you would also say, that they just hate anything like that, it's, it's fucked man, it's crazy, it's crazy to me when I see this, and then when, when, you, when you're like, when you're like providing them with the new methods, you're like, they're, they're not gonna even, like they're not even wanting to try it out, and then be like, oh no, it doesn't work, they're just against it, it's crazy man, uh, it's fucked bro. Uh, anyways, maybe <laughs> maybe you kind of learned a little bit about on this video, or maybe you're just like, what the fuck was this email? I just I just felt like I, I had to do this video at least once. Um, anyways, if you want more students for your dojo, you can click the first link in the description. Um, it's designed to sell you something. Uh, besides that, subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.